Got a lot of shit to do today, so we're gonna make this quick. So on the on the stream that I did yesterday, man, you know, it was a two minute knockout. I was predicting it was gonna be a five minute knockout, but you know, Freeze conceded even quicker than I thought he was. And I'm still insulted that you people thought that this was going to be the guy that was going to come and knock me out. It's like, no, bro. And, you know, some people have complained that I don't bring intelligent people on the channel to debate. What you guys don't understand is intelligent people don't disagree with truth. It's only double-digit IQ people that were born with a mental imperity that try to turn the truth into something that's debatable. You know what I'm saying? So... If I bring more intelligent people on the channel with shout out to Israel, you know, it's not really going to be a debate. It's going to just be, you know, a couple of wise guys chopping it up. But during the live stream, you know, there was a conspiracy theorist who I guess did a background check on, on my dad and, and his side of the family. And, you know, he was accusing me of having blood loyalty and shit, some conspiracy shit you know, getting angry at me because I wouldn't give specific, detailed answers on specific people. Check this out, man. I have a couple of videos in the past talking about why if you go to Man for Knowledge, you're asking to be fooled because there's nothing to teach in the first place. I got whole videos talking about this, but I'm going to keep it simple. No comedy, no jokes, just a serious video. There's a couple of reasons why you don't give sheep free lunch. The most obvious reason is that if you just give sheep free lunch, they don't even appreciate it and they ask for more. No, seriously. You ever been around sheep? No, seriously. Real sheep? What happens when you keep feeding them and feeding them and feeding them? They expect more and more and more. Sheeple. I mean, shepherd. Sheep plus herd equals shepherd. It's the same thing with human cattle. When you give them free information, they demand more and more and more and get angry at you when you don't keep giving them more and more and more. They'll start asking you for your sources and then you give them your source and then they'll start, oh, but what about, then, they, you know, they just get angrier and angrier and angrier because unfortunately, envy is a very common emotion among the herd, right? When you tell people the truth, they don't they don't get happy that you're they don't appreciate you just told them what's going on. Instead, they get angry because it bothers them deep down inside. And I don't know why regular people are like this is I mean, I don't I could give two shits. Right. I see somebody knows more than me. I'm going to fucking study that person and you know, absorb their information, right? I'm going to learn the game. But with regular people, if you tell them truth, they get angry, they get envious that you're displaying that you're so far above them, right? You know, I, I've, I've been doing this with a little guinea pig called Chows, and, you know, every, every time I prove him wrong, he just gets, you know, more combative. You know, I actually, um, I wanted him to debate my boy Devin because Devin is younger than him, but he went straight to the source, and now his life as well. Never went to man for knowledge, never went to college, none of, never went to Google, Wikipedia, none of that bullshit. Charles is the opposite of that, right? I figured, yeah, hey, let's, let's get them in a debate together and show them the difference. But, you know, but when you give sheep free lunch, they try to attack you. Now, as an individual, they're not going to get violent because they know better. But if there's 20 of them, the second they think that together they can take you down, that's when they'll strike physically, and then it becomes a slaughter because 20 times zero power is still zero power. Nonetheless, you know, my channel, I mean, and, and the conspiracy theory guy, man, he tried to say I'm like another Andrew. Listen, man, I ain't like no fucking Andrew Tate, man. I'm not giving people free lunch. I'm instead teaching you how to get your own lunch. I'm instead teaching you how to cook your own meal. I'm teaching you how to fish so you can eat for a lifetime. And how do you eat for a lifetime? Simple. First, you must admit that you have no idea what you're talking about. You have to admit to your flaws. You have to admit that you lack knowledge on the topic. 
This is already something most people can't do because sheeple just don't like admitting when they don't know something. And they get very angry and envious of you when you display knowledge that's far above them, right? So, but first you got to admit you lack knowledge on the subject. Then after you do that, you have to begin, you have to obtain the ability to detect truth from lies. Because if you can't even detect truth from lies, if you can't even tell what's true and what is false in the first place, then none of the information you come across will do you any good anyways. Because if you can't even weed out what is true and what is false, then nothing you hear does you any good. I've got a bunch of videos talking about how to detect truth from lies. I'm not going to rehash it in this video. And then after that, after you've obtained the knowledge, you must then go out into nature. You must then go out and straight into the source and verify with your own eyes what is true and what is false. And then after you've done those three things, you know, you have to use your free will to decide what it is you want you want to do afterwards. You know, I can't tell people what they should or shouldn't do. It's your life. It's your free will. You decide what you want to do. Now, the conspiracy theory guy was getting really angry at me because I wouldn't name specific people. Listen, man, if you ever want to find out who's running this shit, go straight to the source, man. It's so fucking obvious. It's like it's not even funny. And let me just clear up. Let me just clear something up just in case this shit ever comes into a stream ever again. You know, the people that my dad is related to I've interacted with them one single time and that was when I was a baby and I have no memories or recollections of that interaction I only found out about it when his mom died my grandmother on his side of the family I only found out about it when she died and then my mom told me that she had some brothers that were affiliated with certain people but don't get it twisted, man. There, there's no blood loyalty going on here, man. You conspiracy theorists, man. Get, get the fuck out of here with that shit, bro. You know, I've been alone for, like, for 25 years, right? I fucking, I stood on my own for a very long time, man. And yeah, it wasn't, it took a long time to meet the people that I've met. But, you know, you attract what you are eventually, even if it takes a while. So yeah, man, like, you can't give people free lunch because they don't appreciate it anyways. It's much better instead to just weed out all the weak people and those that remain that want to learn how to fish, that want to learn how to cook, that want to learn how to have a lifetime supply of infinite food. Those are the only people I care to talk to, man. The people that just want a handout, that just want free lunch, you know, they got no purpose here on this channel. Because I already know if I give them what they want, they're not going to appreciate it. They're just going to get angrier. How dare you show that you know so much more than me? Some people even directly say this when, when they're drunk. I'm going to bring you down a few pegs, you know, all that bullshit. But the people that actually have learned how to fish and learn how to get the meals on their own, who have gone out into the source and verified with their own eyes what is true and what is false, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. So yeah, I'm gonna just leave that there, man, you know. And yeah, four zero in live debate so far. If anybody wants to challenge it, you guys know where to find me. Catch you guys in the next video.